really annoying. Uh, so this this game is an unreleased game that's currently uh, on Kickstarter. Has like three days left, so definitely look look it up. It's called Hive Jump. And basically, if I had to describe this, um, I would call it. Hey, Amnesia Dreams, how's it going? Came just in time, we're just jumping into our special demo of Hive Jump. This is a pre-alpha build, um, not available to the public. I got it from PAX 2014, went to go talk to the, de the, devel the developers, told them I was a streamer, they just gave me a build and said, go show this off. Uh, Kickstarter ends in three days, so if you like what you see here, definitely go let them know and drop a couple bucks on it. It's not that much, you can drop ten bucks to pre-order a copy of the game, essentially. It's almost completely backed, so it's not too, not too risky at this moment. And it's fun, it's like uh, Spelunky meets Starship Troopers, so... Basically it's a twin-stick sh side-scrolling shooter, so you use your right stick to aim in any direction. You can jump, you can do jetpack, you have a um, backpack that lets you spawn uh, people on you, that if the when you're dead the enemies will attack it, and you got some grenades you can throw. Now, there'll be an, a fully upgradable weapon system when the game la game launches. You'll be going through different kinds of levels, picking up different, uh, um, you'll basically be picking up gel off the aliens and then spending that on up, on, up, on upgrading your, your guns. But for the purposes of the demo, um, basically you can hit the back, the back button to switch guns. We got three different levels of pulse rifle here. We got a flame, a flamethrower, level two flame, level three flame. You got a charge shot, which is quite good. I like the way that they did this. As soon as you let go of the stick, it flings in the direction you were aiming. It doesn't change. So you got three levels of this. You can go to a giant shot. And then you have a cryo beam, which kind of freezes enemies in their tracks. Uh, they, they said there'll be a rocket launcher and some other guns too. But with the cryo beam, it kind of freezes them for a second. It kind of feels like you're playing the game Turrican. And I can see how... Uh, just from playing it, you can basically like freeze enemies in in spot and then have another guy just wh just wail on them. So it's a pretty cool idea. We're just gonna take level one pulse rifle to keep this fair, though. So we have two we have two minutes to us to escape here. These are all procedurally generated levels, making it kind of like spelunky. Uh, this is an example of an an ambush level where we have to basically survive for two minutes and then find the exit, or we die. You can run, you can jump, you can throw, throw, throw grenades. It's quite hard with just one player. You can do four player online or l local. The music is just badass. I'm really digging it. Uh, if you take like higher level weapons, this becomes really easy. But I've been trying to do it standard, which is like, oh okay, yeah, these. You can here's here's the exit. Um, these eggs, you can really do some nice, get some good goo with them. These guys just have to kind of hover to avoid them. The other guys can shoot, but they'll do a lot of damage if they get close to you. And this is the kind of game you want to play as a twin stick shooter. Just the way that it plays is really, it just feels really good. Oh, I, I died, so they're going to attack my bat, my bat, my backpack, and I will probably zoom in in time, pick it, pick it back up, and escape for a minute. Feather the pack to kind of 35 seconds left, and then I can leave. You can just kind of run, run, run from them, which is probably going to be my option soon. Oh, jeez. A little bit longer and I got it. Oh no, I died. They're going to destroy my pack. Yeah, I failed. Okay. So it's quite hard. I just had to get to that door and hit X and I would have been okay there. So, it's just a one level demo. You can keep on trying. Playing big, make large, huge. Uh, if you kickstart, you'll get... Um, the ability to name one of these guys, so we'll try switching guns here. 
I'll try flamethrower for this run, see if that uh, helps us out a little bit. There's supposed to be a l l lava level in this too, but it's all procedurally generated, so you're never going to have the same map twice. There's the exit, now I just have to hold off. Oh, this gun's actually pretty good. Oh, my computer is kicking trying to keep up with this for some reason. This will be available on PC, Mac, Linux. It's been greenlit on Steam, so once it comes out, it'll be greenlit there. And uh, Wii U, because, yeah, it's easy to, to, to develop for that. Flamethrower feels pretty good. Might be a little overpowered, but at least you have to get close to things, so that'll keep it from being too busted. And I died, finally. So I can drop this uh, backpack over here if I want, or okay, it just flings off off my back to ensure that I spawn in a particular place. I'm, I, I think the, uh, pat the pathing for some of the projectiles is a little weird, like I found that sometimes when I throw grenades they go where I'm not facing, but it's a small it's a small issue that they'll probably notice and iron, iron, iron out no, no problem before release. It feels really good though, the, con the, con the controls are slick, everything works off of triggers, so you're not hitting any face buttons except to do things like drop your pack and, and, oh, and open up a door. There, we complete, completed the level. Try this again. Let's try with a... Huh. Let's try with a level 3 charge beam. Whoa, that does some da some damage. Big damage. And you don't have every every angle, you more get like it's a twin stick shooter where you don't I, I can't aim at every single single uh, angle. I can get a decent amount though, so some some sometimes you have to hop to get the right one that that you want. That's nice for keeping enemies from coming up on on you, but it's not the strongest thing. Really do some good damage with this thing. Oh, got me from behind. Basically, if you stay really mobile, you shouldn't have too many problems. Got it. Alright, let's do a couple more shots of this. This is basically just to give you guys an idea of what this game is like. Uh, there's not much more to the demo at this point, it's just um, playing this single mode here. Let's try a level 3 assault rifle and just tear things apart. Oh yeah, this is a fast one. This is what I want to use in the final version.
Music's pretty badass too, and they're going to be pre-ordering the soundtrack through the Kickstarter, so if you like what you hear, that's how you can get a hold of that. Alright, we found the door, now we're just going to kill everything that comes up to us. There'll be other different kinds of modes, like uh, the, the basically the single player mode's like a giant campaign thing where you're choosing to fortify or lay, or lay traps on different map lo locations, and then when they get overrun you jump in on, on them, you, you, you do a dive, and you um, kill everything inside. The, this, the, this is one of the ambush missions that happens when you pick up a relic and you get locked in the chamber. You just have to survive for a couple minutes until the door the door opens. Um, there'll be ones where you're just diving down and completing an objective, like killing a certain amount of enemies. There'll be ones you just gotta traverse to straight to the end. There'll be all kinds of stuff. I just like the idea of a, spe a Spelunky game that is more action-based. Because Spelunk Spelunky is very hard. I have a hard time with that game. I can't really play it just due to how unforgiving it is. But this has a nice, good feel to it, so something I would definitely recommend backing because I can see it's a little bit far off it's not coming out for another year once it's funded but there's definitely potential here like this looks and plays great already and I want to see more of this I want I want more guns I want more 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 levels um, I just want to see this grow into like a really cool game Cool, so that's pretty much Hive Jumper. Hive, hive Jump, sorry. I am a Hive a hive Jumper. This game is not Hive Jump. But yeah, uh, thanks again to Graphite Labs for uh, throwing me this, this demo. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys got a good look at what it looks like. Um, I think it's solid. I think it's worth putting, putting money towards. Uh, it expires, the Kickstarter ex expires in three days. So definitely go check that out. Uh, we're going to take a really quick break here, and then we'll be right back with some more Mike Knows games.